Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you can see me okay. This is gonna be like the accompanying video to my low waste kitchen essentials video, which I uploaded a couple weeks ago. Um, this is gonna be my low waste bathroom essentials video. I'm gonna be showing you five things that I use that has helped me reduce my waste specifically in my bathroom. And again, disclaimer, same as last time, I am not perfect. I am not zero waste. I just do what I can and try and get better and better. And I really hope that you can't hear the sound of the fan in the bathroom. Uh, it comes on when I turn the light on, there's nothing I can do about it. So, item number one. I use um, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash all in bar form. I got the shampoo and conditioner at a store called Basin in Disney Springs, and then I got this from my dad who buys like giant boxes of soap like this online. All vegan, not tested out on animals, all stuff like that. Um, as far as the shampoo and conditioner goes, I'm pretty sure they sell something like this at Lush. I've been seeing them pop up all over the place, and even in like Target, there's bars of shampoo that you can get there. And of course that makes it so that I'm not buying big plastic bottles. Next, I have this scrubby thing. Uh, you hold it like that, and you use it to wash your face. So this is kind of my alternative to exfoliants with like microbeads in them, which are really bad for the ocean and for your body. Um, you can look into that, but basically this provides like a gentle daily exfoliant without having to have any extra plastic. Toilet paper. So I still do buy toilet paper and I would like to be someone that uses a bidet when I'm in a place that allows me to do that. But for now, we got toilet paper in the apartment. This is recycled toilet paper. We also have the tree-free toilet paper, which you can get like Sprouts and Whole Foods and stuff. And yeah, it does cost a little bit more, but I also try to be extremely sparing with it. All right, next up is my toothpaste and mouthwash. I make them myself. So I looked up lots and lots of recipes and I sort of formulated my own that is quote unquote dentist approved using dentist approved ingredients, um, but that are all vegan and cruelty free and I can buy in bulk and then make these things and save money. Instead of buying something like Bite, which seems totally awesome and I would love to have, but I can't afford it. <laughs> if you are interested in the recipes for the toothpaste and mouthwash, please let me know and I would be happy to make a video about it. And I do have a bamboo toothbrush. I feel like you can't have this without this, so. And the very last thing I have, and this is the newest addition, safety razor. I was horrified to get one of these. I was certain that I would, you know, slip my throat with it, but it's actually not bad. And you can see it like opens and closes like this. And then you take the existing razor blade out and then you can put another one in instead of buying, you know, the plastic razors over and over and over and over again. You just buy more blades for this when they get dull. I got that one from Target, by the way. My mouthwash and toothpaste containers are, it's actually an old salsa jar and an old spice jar that I repurposed. And then I got all of the ingredients to make it online. You just let me know if you wanna know what those are. My scrubby is also from Target. All right, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Other than that, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.